It's time to drink orange juice and tell the truth. <laughs> and would you look at that? Welcome to the most genuine gaming food vlogging channel on YouTube. A hyphen DS play. I am a real. I run this this mother. And we're gonna talk about Arc System Works. And their bullshit. And I'ma say it again, their bullshit attempt at damage control. Now, I don't even want to look in the camera right now. I'm out of orange juice. So, the hoodie is zipped up. I'm pretty sure y'all heard it. But, you know what? Never mind, man. Uh, you know what? I can turn the camera from, from there to there. So, I don't, and I'm not going to know if it's facing me or not. But we're going to just get in. So, just listen for a change. You know, they got people that lie to your face every day and you see their face. So, I'm going to tell the truth. And you ain't got to see mine for me to tell the truth. So... Arc System Works, during the EVO 2018 uh, lineup for the games that will be played at EVO, there was a little intermission between, you know, uh, all of the details that's going to be for EVO and, and, and such, and a guy from Arc System Works, trust me, I, I, had the mic, I had it muted, I didn't get the guy's name, but I'm pretty sure one of you guys will tell me, you know, you, I'm, good. I'm glad I have that type of community that can fill in those gaps. But nevertheless, who it was, the announcement that was made is what is important here. So, let's just say an Arc System Works representative. He came on screen and basically like this clip played for Blaze Blue Cross Battle, which of course is the game of topic here. You know, and they've been under fire due to the fact, and rightfully so, that they announced 20 DLC characters. Like, they announced 40 characters for the game. Now, when you first hear that, you think, wow, they're going to have 20 characters in Blaze Blue Cross Battle? That's going to be amazing. Pump the brakes. Wait. They announced 20 DLC characters before they even announced who was in the main roster, like who was going to be in the default roster. That's crazy. Like, you think people are going to pay for DLC when they don't realize who they're going to get off the jump? You didn't announce whether or not, you know, and what's crazy is that, you, like, again, you didn't announce who it was. Like, you didn't announce anything. But they did announce that, uh, well, at least when, when they first announced Blaze Blue, uh, yeah, when they first announced Blaze Blue Cross Battle, uh, Cross Tag Battle, um, Blake. Actually, like, Ruby uh, and Blake was announced a little bit after that. From the, uh, um, uh, the roster team series, uh, Ruby, like, red, white, black, yellow, R-W-B-Y. They're from that series. And Ruby was actually from the first, uh, was the first character you know, from that series to be announced on, as, a, as a character for the default roster. So, next up, I think like a little while after that, they announced that Blake was going to be a part of that. Now, at the time that they first announced Blake, they didn't announce whether or not she was going to be like a DLC, like a free DLC character or not. They did announce she was going to be a DLC character, <clears throat> but they didn't announce whether or not it was going to be free. So, and then during the live stream they announced that Blake not only Blake was going to be a, a free DLC character but Yang was going to be a free DLC character now those are, are kind of like the black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow characters from the RWBY uh, show which is kind of like a the 3D anime show again made by Roster Teeth uh, again, I don't know if that show ever had like a fighting game. I don't think they did. I know, if I'm not mistaken, I think they had a video game, but but it wasn't a fighting game. But I could be wrong. But nevertheless, man, they announced that um, those are going to be in the main. You know, those two are going to be free DLC. Now, I'm looking at many videos on you know online, and mind you, this happened like. Well, now, it happened like two days ago, and I intended to make this video yesterday, but I was trying to finish up some things, so I didn't have time to dedicate to it. And the only reason why I'm doing this outside is because you guys know I, I live at, 
I live in a noisy environment. My people is always noisy. They always nosy. They always noisy. And they're always, you know, distracting me from the topic at hand. So sometimes I have to come outside and do the video. So when, under those cases, you know, obviously I can't have like the fancy edits and show pictures like I want to. But I will have it in the video description so you guys can watch the live stream yourself. And uh, you guys can see everything that I'm saying is true. Um, you know, when they announced uh, Blake and, and Yang, you know, two DLC characters for free. And I'm just looking at that like, I'm really hoping people don't get hype over this. Because there's nothing to get hype about. Mind you, first off, the only reason why they're doing it is because of the DLC controversy that they know they bullshitting on. Like, why the hell would you announce... That's basically announcing that you're paying extra money. Like, we're introducing something that you got to pay extra money for before we even give you, like, the price tag on the actual, you know, retail release. At the time that it happened, you know, at the time it was first announced. Like, we didn't know how much their actual game was going to fall us, but we did find out, like, a little while after that how much we were going to pay for that DLC. Or, or rather, we have like a good uh, understanding of it because I don't think they really announced it. But it's just the fact that you put, you you take twenty characters that okay. I'm gonna need people to really wrap their head around this. You take twenty characters, right? From Night Under Birth, from uh, from a uh, um, Persona Four. Um, from Blaze Blue. I want to say it's another game I'm missing, but I don't think I am. But you take games from all three of the franchises that you made, right? And you putting them in one game. Now, mind you, when you're putting these characters in this game, you're not doing any extra work. Everything is pretty much just a copy and paste. So you're having us paying for, for things that you don't have to do any extra work for you and you know some of those characters are going to be DLC and it's just like you really forcing us to pay like you're really forcing us to pay you know downloadable content you're forcing us to pay for downloadable content for characters that already exist like it's just and before you even announce who, who are in the, who is in a default roster like that's that's crazy to me. So when you see that happening, and then you only announce two free DLC characters, that shit comes together as like, what the fuck? You know, it's like, y'all don't even... It's like... I'm, and then I'm looking online, and I see people getting hype over this, like this is something to cheer about. Like, dude, this ain't even a small victory. Like, you can't even call this a small victory. This is just bullshit. This is just literally them trying to... You know, this is a poor attempt at damage control. You know what I mean? Like, we still don't know who's in the default roster. I actually, in in the video, they showed characters. Um, actually, like, they had, like, this big, you know, field, and all the characters that were in the game were supposed to be in there. Now, some of the characters were revealed, and we had some characters who were still, you know, um, that were just silhouettes. So, I'm assuming that the one. so it's only safe to assume that the ones that they actually showed are going to be the characters in the default roster and the rest are just going to be, you know, like the DLC characters. And here's my thing, man. That's not enough. If you really want people to get interested in this game, like, you're going to have to announce eight more of the DLC characters as free DLC. Because, mind you, <clears throat> another thing that I, I almost forgot. When they announced that you know, when they first announced that there were going to be, like, over, well, not over, but when they announced that, um, like, the downloadable content at first, they released that it was going to be released in volumes. And they had, like, a long list. I don't know how many, but it was literally a long list of volumes. I think it was, like, a good 20-plus volumes, if I'm not mistaken, or, like, a little bit less than that. But the list was long, never, nevertheless. And they didn't announce what was going to be in the volumes. You know, like, you had to guess. Like you didn't know if you was paying for, like, like some soundtracks. You didn't know if you was paying for, you know, characters. You didn't know if you were paying for extra stages. Like, you don't know, you didn't know what you were paying for. 
You know what I mean? So they messed up completely with that. It's like you're just saying that, hey, there's DLC. You're going to have to pay for it. So, you know, after you buy the game, if you want to add everything else to the game, you know what I mean? It's just an arrogant move. And just to put two, you know, DLC characters as free. No, nah, y'all need to do away with that whole volume thing. You know, just do away with it. Um, okay, wait a minute. Let me take that back. I wouldn't say do away with it, but remove the volumes at least, you know what I mean? Like, n nobody wants to wait for, like, a good, you know, 20-plus volumes or whatever the case is. One, we don't know what's going to be in the volumes. Two, we don't know when the vo how often the volumes are going to be released. So nobody's trying to wait for, like, over a year for, like, new content to come. You know what I mean? It's just like, no, bro. Like, we're not trying to deal with that. Like, you already got the eyes are, are on you right now. You know, like everybody's, you know, it's, it's been many a people, including myself, that said that we're not supporting this game because of that very practice. You want to get people such as myself to get interested in buying this game again? Here's what you're going to have to do. You know, in the last video that I made, which I'm going to link at the end of this video, um, I said that if, if you're going to make a game like this, first off, you need to have a, a method to where people can unlock these characters in game because they didn't announce if that was going to be a case or not. But you know what I mean? You, you got to announce that uh, there's going to be a way to unlock the, the other 20 of these characters as well as stages in game. You know what I mean? And it, It's just like nobody wants to sit there and pay for like pre-DLC you know what I mean? It's just, even as I'm trying to explain it, like, the more I think about it, the dumber this shit gets. And it's just like, y'all really did this. Like, y'all, like, it's laughable. And, and, and to see people online cheering, jumping up and down, getting all happy because they gave you two freebies is just like, dude, relax. It's two freebies. Like, if they really want to get people interested in buying this game again, people like myself and as well as many others, you're going to have to make... 10 of that 20, 10 of those 20 DLCs free at the very least to get people interested in buying it again. You know what I mean? Because, like, you really did some, like, you really did some bullshit. Like, I'm not putting no filter on this. You really did some bullshit. You did some, like I said, I don't know what you was trying to go for. I don't know what you were trying to, accomplished with putting 20 DLC characters in the game before you announce who was on the main roster, but that's just like, it's dumb. And I think these companies are getting so greedy with these DLC practices that that was just like the pinnacle of it. You know, I thought it was bad when, again, just like I mentioned in the last video, um, with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and then on this DLC controversy, again, a shout out to those hackers that did that, because you saved people a lot of money. Um, and you gave people a good reason not to buy that, that bullshit game. Because that game was bullshit. It was. It may have been fun, but it was bullshit. They didn't explain what that... You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. But the DLC controversy with that game, you didn't think another company would be dumb enough to try anything like that. And I feel like that Arc System Works tried to, you know, push the envelope with this game. A game that people was hype over. I mean, hell, I'm hype over. You know? But one, you don't need to work hard to put the characters in the crossover game. You might need to implement a tag system on each of the characters. Cool. But that's, for the most part, you're just copy and pasting. Everything else is just computer work. Secondly, the only characters that you really have to work for are like the Ruby characters. That's it. And you got one of the Ruby characters, you know, as, you know, a character on the main roster. You actually got Ruby on there. Uh, and then you got Blake, who represents black. And then you have Yang, that represents yellow, as two free DLC characters. So, I mean, but that's not enough, though. Like, it's just not enough. So why are people getting hyped that they gave us two free DLC characters for this game? Like, I, like my money is still in my pocket. I haven't said that, you know, take my money now. No. When the game was first announced, I was like, okay, yeah, this is going to be hype. You know, then they announced the DLC bullshit. I was like, nope, <laughs> not interested. And then they come out with this, like, you serious? 
like you don't I don't know how can I pull it uh how can I put it like you don't shoot me and then you know what I'm saying then give me a bulletproof vest you do it before then you know that's, that's a bad acronym, but my mind is going like 100 miles per hour because I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this, this bullshit. But again, unlike other people that, you know, talk, talk about these topics, I don't just, um, I don't talk about, uh, you know, like the negatives. I also talk about the positives, like what can be done to remedy the situation. Well, like I've been saying throughout the video, um, in order for them to really get people interested in buying this game again, such as myself and many others, you're going to have to release eight more of those DLC characters as free DLC and then do a couple stages and then reduce that those volumes by half and only do 10 volumes and then announce when the volumes are going to be released like give, give us a date that makes us feel comfortable and we like okay I can expect to get this 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 because in that case we still waiting on whatever the hell Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite got if, if they have anything else at all and you know that game is is pretty much dead. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get in too deep with it, but yeah, the game is dead. It's dead, and uh, that's it, man. Like, come on, man. Like, let's not get hyped because Arc System Works, you know, pretty much gave you like a few pieces of candy, like a few pieces of free candy, but they took your whole bag. Again. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it don't make any sense. That's like somebody taking your entire bag of candy right and then get on, only giving you two pieces and be like hey like these are for free like even though you know, you know what i mean it's just it's something along the lines of stupid as that like the same way you would look at somebody doing that is the same way i'm looking at this dlc you know and i know they got other people looking at this this whole thing as, as well with a sensible mind like this is not a small victory like this like they're gonna have to do some serious damage control Cause that's just like they didn't give enough explanations. Oh, but they did announce that J Japan will be receiving this game one week before we were. Like I, I, we actually get it on uh, June fifth, uh, and they get it on May thirty uh, first. So, so that's about like a good like what five days in between, a, a good five six days in between each other. So it's nearly like a full week that Japan is giving the game earlier. Than we are, but that's nothing. It's just, man, come on. Like, we gotta... Like, come on with these companies, bro. Like, really? Like, I'm just, you know... I don't I don't know, bro. I'm done. Like, I'm done. Like, like, they, like they, they, they gotta do some serious damage control if anybody's gonna be interested in buying this game again. Because I don't see how that compensates for the ignorance and the gall that they had when they first announced the DLC without announcing who was in the base roster first. You know what I mean? Like, they introduced this game the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's a turnoff. And saying that we're going to get two free DLC characters, nah, bro, like, you got to do more. You know? Me, personally, I think, you know, the other 20 characters and stages or whatever else they have as DLC, but the other 20 characters in particular should be unlockable in the game they should have a system that unlocks the characters in the game and if they're going to do the dlc um then they should uh give us the next you know eight characters along with blake and yang let's do 10 of the 20 dlc characters as free downloadable content and then reasonably price the other 10 you know what I mean? And even if you're going to add other stages, you know what I mean? Put that in there with, you know, like just do away with the whole volumes thing. Like that that right there is another thing that, that just threw people off, man. Like, the, like they did so wrong when they introduced this game. It makes it hard to want to take them seriously when all they give you is two freebies. I'm like, really? Like, that's it? Like you announce a whole plan of attack already and you're gonna give us two freebies like stop it fam
All right, but that's it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like the video, comment. Let's. Th this is an open discussion, and let me just say this for the record. I think people who um, I think people who go to to people such as like uh, I think people have been spoiled online with. A certain well, like a certain attitude when it comes to my channel I can't speak for nobody else's channel but I can speak for mine and I think people have been misled not spoiled but misled in, in, in believing that everybody acts like a few others let me tell you something just because you have a debate with me or just because you know, we may have a disagreement or whatever the case may be. Like, you don't have to worry about ever getting banned from this channel. Unless you do like some racist nonsense or, or something like that. But if we're just having a debate, and e even if it's a heated debate, you never have to worry about me banning you from this channel. You never have to worry about me giving you like a timeout or anything. Like, I don't do that. I don't do that. And I even fix Nightbot. So in my live streams, like, he, he isn't timing people out for typing in all caps. Like, I'm okay with, with a lot of things being said. Like, this is an open, you know, this channel, It's especially in the chat room during my live streams, it is an open forum. Not, not one time have you ever seen me in any of my videos since 2006. I never block comments. I never, uh, you know, I never had, had the comments disabled. It's a reason, because I want people to be able to discuss. So don't ever have to worry about me blocking comments or any of that dumb stuff that other people may do on their live streams or in their videos or in, in response to whatever, because I will never do that. You know what I mean? So don't, when, when you come here, you don't have to worry about that. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Check out the Patreon rewards programs at, at patreon.com slash adsplay101. Check out the store while I have... Uh, shirts coming, uh, new shirts coming uh, soon, as well as a number of other things like shoes, bandanas, jackets uh, f to, to support the esports team. I'm going to be traveling to, uh, to tournaments pretty soon. Uh, hopefully, either late this month or like early to mid next month uh, in um, in March. So just keep your eyes open, man. Keep your ears ears peeled. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace and keep on gaming.